The Cornell method is arguably one of the best, if not the best, note-taking methods out there. And so the main problem I have with this method is not the method at all. It's the system in which you organize the notes that you've taken with the Cornell method. Even though you've done a wonderful job of going through, thinking about knowledge in a very different way, adding in those keywords, adding in those questions, as soon as you're done, you're gonna close that file and you then can't see any of those keywords or questions that you have made. But with a small modification, you can change your system so that you can see the important info that you've gone through the process of collecting outside of your file. So to improve and efficientize your note-taking system, you can make use of connected note-taking. Let me explain further. And really what connected note-taking does is take you from a 2D system where all of your notes are stacked on top of each other and are separated from each other by the fact that they're all self-contained within a file and moving into a 3D plane where your notes no longer have to be separated from each other. You can kind of wander through them and jump between different sections of your notes based on the fact that they are related to the same topic. So you can follow a train of thought without having to dive through several documents trying to find the info that you want. We probably should do a little bit of a recap on the Cornell method. So the Cornell method involves splitting your page into three sections. You have a notes section, next to it a cues section for your keywords and questions, and then at the bottom you have a summary section. But you take your notes and add in keywords and questions, and then when you're done, you summarize what is contained within your note in the summary section. And so this variation that I've been using, I'd say it comes under a working title of Connected Cornell Notes. So I'm gonna show you how I add these connections into my note-taking system on Protolis. And these connections can definitely be added in other note-taking tools. And so on Protolis, you make use of a page, a text editor page, and you can type your notes in there, add in images, however you like to take notes. And then on Protolis, we make use of atoms to organize your highlights. And atoms lift your highlights out of the page so that you can view and access and connect them across your workspace. So as you go through your notes page, you're gonna highlight the sections that you want to allocate a keyword to. And then once you've saved that piece of text as an atom, you can add keywords. And we do that by adding tags to that atom. And when you add a keyword, you're prompted to choose a location for it within your workspace. And if you add it into a keywords table, you will build a list of all the keywords that you're using across all of your notes. And the benefit here is that you could have that keywords table open in split screen so that whenever you are taking notes, you have a list of all the keywords that you have used so far to hand. So if there's anything that is related to that keyword, you'll make sure that you're adding the right tag and not setting up a new one with the same underlying meaning, but using a different word. And if you're using a table, you can reconfigure and update it and all these changes will be reflected across all of your notes without you having to jump back into them to update them. And you can add questions in a similar way. And then you can make your summary at the bottom of the page. Actually, I've seen a lot of people moving the summary to the top of the notes page. On Protolist, if you move your summary to the top of the page, you can actually choose a table view where you'll be able to view that summary. But what I find most useful is that in a table view, I can see all of the atoms inside a page without having to open it up. And by adding tags, I start to collect all of the atoms from many different notes pages together in one place. But this is pretty much the systems that we use as a team at Protolist. And as someone that has probably spent a disproportionate amount of time thinking about systems and workflows, adding connections into the Cornell method is what makes it super powerful. Keep doing your Cornell notes if you're doing it. If you haven't, give it a try. And if you're looking to take your notes to the next level, maybe take a look at adopting some of these connected note-taking principles into your system to help you organize the information that you're gathering in your notes. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon.